Hey, what's going on everyone? Jonathan here from the Football Network, and I'm going to review the January transfer window today. Uh, I've created a list of some of my favorite transfers, some big transfers, and just things that should be talked about from January. All in all, it was quite disappointing. Uh, January transfer window more happened in China than it did in England or Europe, uh, which is unfortunate. Players like Jackson Martinez has just confirmed today. Freddy Guarín, Ramirez, Gervinho, all in China, and it's putting the Chinese league on the map. But it's sad to see these players are going, especially mostly just for money. Like, that's all the Chinese league has to offer. It's quite disappointing, they're just ruining the world football market. They're doing what the MLS did five years ago with the Beckham, with the Beckham law, but the MLS could still produce its own talent at that time. That's the difference between us and China. Um, other big moves is El Shirari on loan to Roma. Uh, he has two goals in two games for Roma. His first one was sensational. If you haven't seen the back heel, just search it on Google. It'll come up. It's a sensational goal. Um, revitalizing his career, Roma. I think with Gervinho gone, uh, Dumbia out on loan, Salah on the other wing, um, this move could be made permanent in the summer, and it makes a lot of sense. Uh, Roma are paid $1.4 million. For the loan move uh he's valued at 14 million uh could be something they might want to invest in in over the summer it'd be disappointing for Easton milan to leave el shirari but after that first two seasons never really refound this for him next we have like i said dumbia on loan to newcastle uh steve mclaren just decides to throw 100 million pounds into the window mike ashley just gives it to him um, so he brings in Sado Dumbia, a very powerful Ivorian striker. Will hopefully adjust well to the Premier League. Uh, Ibarbo hasn't, he's very similar to Ibarbo, that's what scares me and a lot of people. But I think Dumbia is different. I think Dumbia is a far better player than Ibarbo, and we'll see how it goes. Next is Aminike, another big Nigerian striker, and Sam Byron, both to West Ham. Uh, West Ham needed fullbacks. Only having Aaron Cresswell, really Carl Jenkinson is Carl Jenkinson. But Sam Byram is an excellent. Uh, Leeds really weren't going to be able to hold on to him. He was eventually going to go to the Premier League. Between his talent, his youth, um, just with them and the crisis they are, Sam Byram was bound to leave. Um, Leeds fans weren't as upset as I thought. Though they were upset, they weren't as mad as I thought they'd be because they understand that he has a future in football, in English football. So for him to go is probably the right move. Next, we have Alexandra Pato and Matt Miazga to Chelsea. Matt Miazga, for all you who don't know who he is, I'll leave a link to an article and a video I did on Matt Miazga in the description below. And uh, Pato, you all know about, sensational, tipped to be the next world younger kid, then fell off and went back to uh, Brazil. So he's there, six month loan. Um, I have a feeling he will make an impact, especially if Lloyd Remy leaves, Falcao doesn't play as it is. I think he could be a decent back. I think he can give something to Chelsea going forward. Um, next is Imbula from Porto to Stoke City for 18.5 million pounds. Stoke not afraid to spend the money clearly this season. Uh, 23 year old French midfielder, well rounded, strong, physical, young, offers Champions League experience, could be crucial. The Stoke really need that central midfielder. They have Shakiri, they have Arnautovic. Uh, if they could have brought it, they have Bojan up top, that midfielder, the link that that all together was essential and I think they did just that. Next we have Steven Fletcher going from Sunderland to Marseille on loan. And I don't see where this transfer is coming from. Marseille uh, did need a striker, but Steve, a washed up Scottish international from Sunderland was probably not their best option. Um, especially with like Aminike Dumbia, clearly they were available. Um, they shouldn't have got rid of Gignac to Mexico in the summer. but. Everyone makes mistakes, but maybe this could revitalize Stephen Fletcher's career. Maybe he could push for the Scottish team for uh, World Cup qualifiers. You never know. Speaking of another Scottish international, we're going to go to Jordan Rhodes, going from Blackburn to Middlesbrough. Uh, this will... Middlesbrough looking like a very good team. Very likely they will go up to the Premier League. And uh, this is big for Jordan Rhodes to be playing Premier League football finally. Um, we'll break into the Scottish team already has. And I think Jordan Rhodes could do big things at Middlesbrough. Next, we have Aiden McGeady going from Everton to Sheffield Wednesday alone. Aiden McGeady's just, ever since Gerald Dayfeu found his feet, he's been nothing at Everton, never really found form. So, for him to go off on loan is probably what he needed. 
I thought he was going to go back to Celtic. That's what the rumor's saying. But Sheffield Wednesday are uh, bringing in good players. They have that Spanish midfielder, too. I can't think of his name, but maybe they could compete for a playoff spot. But let's see if Aiden McGeady can refine his form. Uh, next, we have Patrick Roberts, another young, promising mid uh, midfielder, going from Manchester City to Celtic on loan. Patrick Roberts came from Fulham in the summer, in one of English's most promising left mids. He's 18, I believe. Uh, Scotland is a great place to develop players. I'll live by that. The uh, Zellalem's currently developing there. Uh, John Soiter, who went from Dundee to Hearts, who we'll talk about in a second. Uh, Patrick Roberts will grow, and Scotland is the league to develop youngsters, especially with Celtic, who are going to be playing Champions League football next year. Um, just a sensational team as it is. Probably going to win the league. He'll get good playing time. Very good move by Manchester City. And for Celtic, they pick up such a talent. Um, next, we have John Soyder, as I just said. Uh, most promising young Scottish uh, defender in Scotland. Went to Hearts on deadline day right at the last minute. It was intense. It was a great move by Hearts. Uh, probably good for John Soyder's uh, future, too, as Hearts will be pushing for a Europa League spot. Uh, along with Don Cowie, who was released by Wigan, uh, went to Hearts. will add depth to their midfield charts. And finally, Leroy Burr could revitalize his career on Swansea, back in the Premier League where he belongs, away from QPR. So QPR, Stephen Cocker on loan, Leroy Furr, I think they've just given up on ever trying to get back into the Premier League this season. But they have to rebuild, rebrand. And Leroy Furr deserves to be in Premier League football, strong, proven, physical midfielder. Uh, always bouncing around the relegation teams, but definitely deserves a shot in the Premier League, and I think Swans is a good destination after losing John Joe Shelby for him to pick up his game again. So, that's all from me. Hope you guys enjoyed. You guys could drop a like, that'd be sensational. Dro check out all of TFN's Twitter, Instagram, blog, all that in the description below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope you, uh, I guess I'll see you guys for the next video. Peace.